Hello, Patrick Walchuk here with an update on the Ottawa investment property, the residential investment property to the end of August. And we'll be looking at year-to-date numbers compared to year-to-date uh, of 2021. Um, and if you enjoy getting these videos, click on the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and we'll take care of it and send them out to you every, every month. So let's get right into it. For August, there were, uh, by the way, this is for buildings that have two to four units in them. Uh, there were eight 89 that have sold so far this year, which is uh, down uh, by 20% over last year. And the average price for these buildings is about flat, but it's a slight decline of a million fifty-five thousand. So we're down about 1.2%. And that's that's interesting to say the least. Um, now the days on market, they're selling in about the same amount of time in 46 days. So that's up from last year by about nine and a half percent. Moving on to the buildings that the, the larger buildings, the ones with five plus units, uh, we've had 20 of them sell this year, which is basically three more than last year. Uh, the average price there is $2.372 million, a decline of 25%. Now this really isn't as dramatic as it sounds because we had some significantly higher built, higher price buildings sell last year uh, that um, uh, have a different kind of an impact because the the, the data, it, we're dealing with such low numbers overall here. And in terms of how long it's taking these properties to sell though, this is interesting, that's up uh, to 81 days compared to 73 last year. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to give me a call, thank you.